roof rail channels, upper door seal, upper door window seal. There's so many names for this thing. Let's talk about it and show you how to install it. What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage. And today I wanna to talk about the upper weather seal for the hardtop coupe. It's technically a weather seal. There's technically a weather seal channel. And then there's some trim decorative pieces. So there's a lot of different options here, but if you're not quite familiar with what I'm talking about, it's the seal that basically runs from here, up, over, down, down to here. It primarily seals your window to, sorry, I was out of, out of picture, your window to the upper part of the coupe. And there's a proper way to install this, I found out. Now keep in mind when I got my car, it had none of that. I had no idea what it was, had no idea what it's called, and it was a nightmare to find online. I ended up ordering drip rails and uh, OER, like side upgraded fancy seals and stuff like that. Nothing was a channel. It wasn't until I stumbled across Camaro Central's website that I found the actual channels that install so you can actually get the weather seal put in there. And then, I, yeah, I've, I've gone across forms and everything like that. No one actually shows a really good way of how this installs. They just don't. And it's driving me nuts. Hopefully today, this will answer all the questions you have about that product. Let's get right to it. As you know, your door typically has its normal door seal, and then it has the upper seal, again, sealing in the window, keeping all the air out while you're driving. Now, I have all the parts here laid out that you'll need to complete this task. And again, this took me a little bit of time to figure out everything myself. It wasn't very apparent of what I needed. I ordered a lot of the wrong stuff, such as the drip rail. Yes, this is not a drip rail. This is the the weather seal rail, if you wanna call it. The main rail here, the kit comes in a two-piece setup. This is the main rail on the tupper, upper part of your window. Now, OER, if you have OER seals or even soft seals, they're gonna come with little plastic push pins that are designed to technically hold this piece in place. Now, I decided to opt in for self-tapping screws. I feel like that's a much better way to install them. You may disagree with me, that's completely fine, but that's what I'm using for my install. Most of the install kits, again, come with everything you need, including the screws for the actual soft seal to mount to the body of the vehicle. And the other side of it is we will be using some weather stripping adhesive to basically attach the soft seal to the tray. You're not gonna be attaching the soft seal to the body of the car, it's only attaching to this tray. And I believe that's the best way to go forward with it. So let's go over the individual parts and pieces real quick. So again, you're gonna have the upper rail. This is the main upper part that is gonna install from the car across this upper edge down here. And then you're also gonna have the side rail, which installs along this aspect of the vehicle. Now, if you wanna get fancy, OER has a decorative piece and this comes down to, I believe what's called the deluxe. Kinda of comes with uh, the upgraded trim and all that stuff. And of course, now I can't get this out of the bag, but they have this additional seal and I don't know if I just grabbed the right, I think I grabbed the right one. They also make this additional seal that sits on your paint and wraps around the backside of the body that gives you that additional extra trim that looks nice and pretty. This is obviously optional. If you want that additional level of trim or your car had that originally, you might want these. If you don't already have the factory originals, these are OER replicas, uh, but that is an option. If not, you just go with the basic weather seal, which does have a nice chrome edge to it. Actually, chrome edge to it faces this way. These are made out of stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about them rusting or anything like that over time, but it, you know, it's the more, I don't want to say generic. I think that's a bad word. It's a cleaner way to go. Now, again, if you're going to go with all of the chrome trim along the door with the deluxe stuff and wrap around the hood and all that stuff, this piece could be a good piece to dress it up. It's really up to you. I honestly think you don't have to have all the deluxe and you can put this piece on and it kind of gives it a nice little bling at the edge, but that's just me. You have the upper, upper rail, the side rail. They do have a connection piece 
These things are wonky as heck. I don't trust them whatsoever. I kind of slid them over and everything like that and they just didn't seem all that great. I installed these pieces already on the driver's side and without this piece and I really like it. Now some people will be like, well, do you have to put a seal between the body and the actual pieces that you're installing? And on these ones, no, because they already have a rubberized coating on the backside. It's like a foam. It's gonna sit on there nice and neatly. Some people might wanna put some sort of gunker in there to keep water from going into the holes and into the body. My car is never gonna see weather, so I'm not worried about that in this instance, but it's just one of those things that you can decide to do if you wanna to get to that point. And again, you can see the, the rubberized foam on the top of the main rail too. The other side is there are the metal tabs. This is your top window stop. So that way it just forces the window up against the actual weather seal. Make sure these aren't bent too in. Like these ones that I got from the company, the, they were like bent way too far in and I couldn't close the door with the window without pushing the upper edge of the window down while closing the door. So I've now bent these up and I've resolved that issue. Yeah, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna walk over, I'm gonna show you the driver side installed and then we're gonna go ahead and install this and show you the step-by-steps that we did to get to that driver side look. Okay, so we are on the driver's side. Obviously my car's not finished. We're still building it here, but you can see the soft seal up against the edge with the window all the way up. It does tuck in, so the window goes right inside and you can see a nice tight seal. And then again, I mentioned earlier how there is a stainless steel edge that you can still see that looks nice with this setup, but it's up to you if you wanna put the additional. Now, one thing I did notice, my holes up here were bigger than my self tappers. So I actually have to get bigger screws for on my top side because they're loose and the little plastic push pins that they want you to use. Yeah, I don't trust those whatsoever. That's what it's gonna look like. Now let's walk you through the install. So for the install, I have brought in my son, Kyle, who is gonna be the cameraman. Are you ready for this, Kyle? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so to kick things off, I'm just gonna grab a couple of the self-tapping screws. I am gonna use a hand manual Phillips to get these started and then we'll hit them with the drill just because it will take forever you do it by hand. Obviously with self-tappers, you can strip out the holes and stuff. So just be careful with that. You don't wanna be taking it off and on a million times, but let's go ahead and put the main rail in place. So I'm gonna mount it <clears throat> up against this top corner first. So I can see one of the mounting holes here. So just getting one screw in there to get it in place. You you will have room, and I and I did, I made this one a little too tight right now. You will have room to slide this up and down. So see that play right here? So that play will also come in handy side to side, up and down. Sometimes these metal pieces might not be bent perfect for your vehicle, but you know, we'll get up in here. Where is that? So this one's down. We'll get that started and we'll get the rest of the screws in across this. Now with the back plate piece, this is pretty straightforward. Now, since I'm not using the connecting piece, I basically am lining up these two metal pieces so they're flush. So that way when I do get the weather strip in here, it lines up nice and neat, looks clean. So I'm gonna get that lined up and tighten that just enough so it's not gonna move. Again, remember, there is that rubber backing on the backside so it doesn't want to necessarily move. We'll get these started. And on this one, I'm gonna to try to get it out to the edge. Move that just a hair. That piece is all the way on. Okay, so now that we have the channels mounted across the car, we're gonna start getting our seal in. And this can be, I don't wanna say it's difficult, because it's really not. In this instance, I'm gonna basically be doing a dry fit, so I'm not gonna be putting weather seal in here yet, primarily because we're still adjusting our windows and everything like that, but this is a perfectly uh, good opportunity. Put your soft seal in if you're adjusting windows and stuff, do it before you glue it, and make sure it's in the right spot and everything's tucked in nice. The seal itself is actually pretty easy to install. I highly recommend taking two of the screws and starting the bottom corner 
I'm just going to start it. I'm not going to be tightening it all the way. I'm stepping on it. And these seals install really easy by kicking in the back corner first. I'm using a just a finishing tool and I'm just going to be forcing the back edge of the seal into the holder and you can see the front will just follow suit. And it, this will get a little tougher at the top because it does get a little bit thicker. In this instance, I just kick it out and you don't want to, you want to make sure you get it to push straight down so it goes into the railing. Some people like to do this top corner first and work their way down. It's probably easier <laughs> now that I'm doing it live. It doesn't want to be as easy. I probably made that a lot. I made that look a lot harder than it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's because the camera's on. So I'm just making sure that's in there nice. So on the top, I'm going to kick that top. And this usually comes in handy. You can just... You can force that seat in there and you can literally and I'm not gonna start pushing this one into its final position until I get it lined up down here and I know I got this piece in the right spot and it looks like that's gonna line up with the holes good so now I'm just making sure that back seal is all the way up in there. Pretty straightforward to see if the edge of the rubber is in this channel, but the back side's even easier. You can just pull forward and you can see that the rubber is sitting in the back ledge of the channel. Just go through the whole weather seal and make sure, you know, that it's in there. So you can see all the way up in here. I got it nicely seated in there. That one's good. And this will allow, cause you gotta remember when you put these seals in, it's gonna be not a perfect fit right away. It's gotta sit and having your window up against it is gonna allow them to form fit to the car with how your window is gonna roll up. So just keep in mind, there's gonna be a little bit of growing pains. You may have to adjust or let it sit longer. Some people let it sit for two to three days and some people let it sit for weeks but i'm gonna check the inside edge all along this top now and then get this screwed in here now we have our last two screw placements these are like so shoddy they just they're oh they always just want to pull out try to get it i try to hold the seal up against their car when I put these in, or it's just gonna push right through. And just get that tightened up so it doesn't go through. And there you go. Still gotta get this mounted, but this, this will sit flush against here once we have the dash. This will tuck up in here when the door's closed, we'll have a nice seal. Now that we have the seal in, the fun begins of getting your window seated right now. I'm not gonna go over all the details of aligning and getting your window right, cause there's the in and the out and the up and the down and the side to the side and this side's not set up yet, but I do have that side over there set up so I can walk you through that. But you can see how this window sits nice and on the seal, so there's a little bit of seal above the window all the way around. It's nice and tight. Unfortunately, I don't have the lower door seal on this one, but it's a nice close. When you close it, the window tucks underneath. And you're good to go. Put a huge shout out to my son, Kyle, for jumping in and helping me with some of the camera work today. You're awesome, son. But that's it. There is the upper weather seal rail install 
and the soft seal install, whether you get it from OER or soft seal. I've actually purchased both. I have both the OER and the soft seal. I haven't tried installing both to see which one feels better, looks better, is better. I've heard a lot of good things about soft seal. I had purchased just like the OER bundle kit for the full like replacement weather seal kit. So I'm gonna try them both, see which ones I like in the long run. I'll let you know which ones I go with. I'll probably do a separate video talking about the OER versus the soft seal setup, but I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I'll put links down below to all the parts and pieces. I know for me, it was a pain in the butt to find everything. So hopefully the links down below will help you if you are on this journey looking for these parts or replacing these parts, but that's all I got. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want more second gen content, help support the channel, watch future videos. And until next time, I'll see you on the road.